Hello and welcome to vlog number 77. This week I travelled to the National Hospital for Neurology and Neurosurgery to see my neurologist. It has now been just over 25 months since I had my deep brain stimulation operation and I assume that this appointment is to review my symptoms and the effectiveness of my DBS. I was told that I would be reviewed on a yearly basis but for a variety of reasons but mainly because they have been unable to give me an appointment that I was able to attend, this is the first such appointment since my surgery. I wasn't really sure of what to expect, but I thought they would want to have my DBS switched off, such that they could observe my PD symptoms without stimulation. I thought that they would want to assess my balance and walking. I thought that they would test my cognitive functioning. I thought they would want to assess my voice and swallowing. So, I arrived at the hospital following a four and a quarter hour journey, expecting to be put through the mill. What I actually got, following a 45 minute wait, which I guess is pretty much standard these days, was a 15 minute audience with my neurologist, which basically consisted of her asking me how I was, followed by a couple of minor adjustments to my neurostimulator to calm some tremor that was breaking through on my left side followed by me telling her how my speech, chewing and balance had been adversely affected. That was effectively the end of my appointment, and she said that she would see me again in six months' time. Having travelled all the way from Norfolk to London and back for a 15 minute appointment, I would normally have been fairly annoyed, and would have seen it as a complete waste of time and money. But then I told her that I wanted to discuss exanatide, and suddenly it was all worthwhile. Exanatide is a drug that is approved for use as a treatment for type 2 diabetes and which has recently been trialled as a treatment for Parkinson's with very promising results. The drug works by targeting receptors in the pancreas known as GLP-1 or glucagon-like peptide 1 receptors which stimulates insulin production. GLP-1 receptors are also found in the brain and research suggests that exenatide can cause these receptors to boost the function of dopamine connections, as well as being anti-inflammatory, improving energy production and switching on cell survival signals. An initial open label study, meaning that researchers and participants knew who was receiving the exenatide and who was receiving the placebo, showed promise and a subsequent double-blind placebo-controlled clinical trial showed that those participants who were given exenatide did not experience the same disease progression that those participants who were given the placebo did. It appears that exenatide arrested disease progression and in some cases resulted in a reduction in the severity of their symptoms as measured on the Unified Parkinson's Disease Rating Scale or UPDRS. Obviously I got quite excited about this, but there is quite a long road to travel before this drug is approved for the treatment of Parkinson's, and I really can't afford to wait. My Parkinson's has progressed quite rapidly over the last few years, so if there's something that can stop progression or even slow it down, then I want it now, not in several years' time. As soon as I mentioned Xenotype, my neurologist seemed to perk up and take more interest. The latest trial took place at the National Hospital for Neurology and Neurosurgery and was led by a member of my neurologist team. She immediately started telling me about another trial that was scheduled for later in the year, although she speculated that I may not be eligible because I'd had DBS, and that even if I was eligible, I may well be in receipt of the placebo, which just wouldn't do. I explained that I had already discussed the recent trial with my doctor and he had said that if my neurologist was to tell him that it may be worth a try, then he would be happy to prescribe it for me off-label, which means that he would prescribe it for a condition for which it was not approved, i.e. Parkinson's. I had expected resistance from my wanting to be prescribed exenatide, expected to have to argue my case, so you could have knocked me down with a feather when my neurologist immediately offered to write to my doctor and ask him to prescribe it for me. I walked out of my appointment feeling as though I was walking on air and I'm very hopeful that this medication will have a positive effect on my PD symptoms. I will, of course, report back on my experience with Xenotide. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. 
Have a great week. See you next Friday.